December 2nd, only three cards revealed today because I was able to sneak in Kingsbane last episode, and that's a fun card, so if you want to check that out, it's in the top right. But today, first up, we have Crystal Lion, six mana, five, five rare paladin minion with a divine shield, and it also costs one less for each silver hand recruit you control. I love all the iterations of minions that cost less with certain requirements, and I think Crystal Lion is another strong minion to add to that list. Obviously it works well with Paladin's hero power, and it's similar to Things From Below. I'd take the Divine Shield over taunt most of the time, but Things From Below only requires you've used your hero power to reduce the cost, while Crystal Lion requires your Silverhand recruits to be alive on board. That's definitely harder to do, so it's going to be worse than Things From Below. But Paladin has other ways of spawning silver recruits, so potentially with 6 Silverhand recruits on the board you can get this card for 0 mana. It's not the best deck in the world, but Silverhand Recruit Paladin is fun. And actually, a combination of Divine Shield Paladin and Silverhand Recruit Paladin does work a bit better, and I think Crystal Lion really helps bridge that gap beautifully. I think in most Paladin games, as long as you're not aggro, you can most likely get two Silverhand Recruits out on the board with just your hero power at some point in the game, and that makes this card a 4 mana 5 5 with Divine Shield. But that's only when the tempo really allows it, so for most of the game it's going to be 5 or 6 mana in your hand. And if you need to play this card for board presence when the hero powers don't really line up, you might as well be playing a better 5 or 6 mana card. It's a cool design, and I'm glad there's going to be a strong tempo card for Silverhand Recruit and Divine Shield Paladin. Next is Bladed Gauntlet, 2 mana 0 2 epic warrior weapon that has equal attack to your armor, can't attack heroes. So first of all, I'm glad Warrior is going in the armor direction this expansion. It's a nice way of not buffing any aggro warrior, and while I don't think the archetype will be strong now, it lays the foundation for later expansions. And I think Bladed Gauntlet is going to be a really key card in armor decks. Now I'm only speculating, but I think if Blizzard is introducing a new armor warrior, they don't want it as controlling as the Justicar tank up control warriors were. They're not really a big fan of the 30 minute games, and to be honest, by the third control warrior, neither am I. That's why I think they're designing cards to eventually lead to a control but almost mid-range speed armor warrior. This brings me all the way back to Bladed Gauntlet. Control Warrior used Gorhal, and it was a deck staple to remove threats on the board. In this new armor warrior, Bladed Gauntlet is the cheaper, quicker, low-costing Gorhal that's meant to clear two big threats and allow you to control the board as armor warrior. Whether you've already acquired the armor or you combo Bladed Gauntlet with other cards, you'll have another way to deal with big threats. The ironic thing about this card is it can only attack minions, which means your hero is going to take damage, and that in turn is going to remove armor, lowering the stat of this weapon and the value of other armor synergies. So on one sewing it can be 9 attack, and then the next only 3. The obvious solution to this is give warrior better ways of gaining armor so they can afford smacking into some minions. If Blizzard supports enough cards for armor warrior in the next expansion, I think Bladed Gauntlet will see some play. And last up is To My Side, 6 mana epic hunter spell that reads, summon an animal companion, or 2 if your deck has no minions. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hunter with no minions? This can mean two things. One, a spell-based control hunter, or two, this is the new Purify. I am so confused where they're going with this one. Part of me is thinking, well, since it's six mana, the cost of two animal companions, it's not really meant to save you cost, just give you more value for one card instead of two. And in addition, we've gotten more expensive spells for Hunter, like Lesser Emerald Spellstone and Crushed Walls, and there's also Katharina Winter Wisp, which will recruit beasts, encouraging you to make a deck of mainly more valuable beasts, and getting rid of minions in your deck, but where I don't get this card is why make the requirement have no more minions in your deck? That doesn't really seem control at all. Are you telling me you're supposed to hold onto this card until the very end, where it's part of your win condition? It's really an odd choice. And that's why I have a suspicion that they're going to try to make this card work in a future expansion. It doesn't have the real absurdity that Purify has by silencing your own minions, but like this laughed at priest card, I have no real idea of their plan with this card. I know tracking helps to thin out hunters decks, so maybe a hunter that starts just getting rid of their card is going to be a thing in the future. I'm not sure, but to my side is so bad it's actually suspicious. So I think in one and a half years time, this will be a tier 2 hunter deck. That's all for today's cards. There's a playlist if you missed any of the ones before. Subscribe if you want to hear my opinions as more cards come out, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more. But until then, ta-ta.